Okay, so are there any other comments then on the first four? I, uh, well, I'd, I'm going to make a few because, you know, this has been um, a, a very, you know, intense in many ways and, and uh, heated and, and emotional at times this, um, discussion and, and uh, in particular um, the... Um, Impact and the and the ripple effects of, of Natasha Fox's death at, at Wiggins and, and college and it's raised a lot of questions about cycling and cycling infrastructure and we know we've had a lot of debates about that in here in these chambers and and uh, and we've had uh, and made progress has been identified and and there's uh, you know a lot of areas where we're seeing good multi-use pathways and improved and, and improved. Um, infrastructure, and then we've also had um, w efforts and work that that has moved forward and or not moved forward, such as in ten years ago on Wiggins and College, or or in the downtown. And uh, and I bear and I feel and I think all of council recognizes, you know, that this is the work of council as we as we try to build a city and we try to work with with the different. Uh, uh, dynamics of our city and and for whatever reason we've seen in our city and many uh, cities the, the issues around cycling can be some of the most controversial um, at the same time our city is growing our, uh, we're seeing more traffic, we're seeing at times more congestion, we're seeing more and more people choosing uh, cycling as a way of getting around whether it's uh, Students uh, that you know that came here today uh, throughout the city, or it's people on e-bikes, or or people who can't afford a car and who don't have that as an option, and uh, and 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 the work and the ongoing I think um, uh, requirement that we have to find the best way to be able to make this a city that people can get around using all options, and I, I do think that. Um, one of the things that this has highlighted is is that we have the cycling routes which we're making progress on and I think are have been important and then we also um, have an opportunity to, to pay attention to some of these intersections where where there can be more safety factors more concerns more issues getting through and that's been a theme and a conversation that I think this can um, help us to, to look at and, and identify where we can make a progress in terms of safety. Um, at the same time as we're looking at some of the routes, uh, fixing some of the unsafe intersections, which I see these motions and the discussion today helping us to do. And I would invite uh, you know, that further conversation between Saskatoon Cycles and Civic Administration and City Council to really identify uh, where those are. Today we're, we're talking about Wiggins and college for for obvious reasons and um and i think if we can make progress on that and and respond to the call for urgency that we're hearing that you know uh we know that that there are many many people going on to campus and out of campus of all ages uh, through there and we also know there's other areas in the city that uh, merit that same kind of attention so um i appreciate that councillor block bringing this forward and all the people who've come and spoken and, and, and helped to uh, remind and, and encourage and uh, counsel on the urgency of, of finding a way to continue to make, make a city that is as safe as possible for everyone. Um, and I hope we can have as rational debates as possible going forward um, uh, and find, find a way to recognize that this is not about pitting one uh, part of the city against the other, but about trying to make a city that, that uh, works for all, all road users. And I want to thank our administration, because I know they've been working very hard on these issues as well, and, uh, and, and, tr and uh, as identified, the education initiatives that are underway and, and, the, and the planning and, and looking at identifying some of the new technologies like uh, the rapid deployment ideas that I think uh, could give us the ability to do things that we haven't been able to do in the past. Um, uh, so I appreciate all, all that work as well. So I, I do support the motions uh, today.